Urban Programmer here back with another video. If you're having problems with downloading the HAXM add-on or plug-in in Android Studio, which is um, the Hardware Accelerator Execution Manager, you want to make sure VTX is disabled if you cannot um, install it in Android Studio. So there's a number of ways that you can disable VTX. One way to try is go to Windows, start our control panel. We want to go to Programs. Then you want to click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. Now this will probably take a few minutes to load up. Okay. So you want to look for the VTX, which is the virtualization technology. Except execution, I guess. So we don't I don't see it here. So I'm just gonna cancel this. Another way to disable it is to run command as the um you're gonna run the command prompt as the um primary user permit with primary user permissions so you wanna write you wanna type in command and right right click command prompt okay run it as administrator so yes Okay, now in this window, you want to type B, C, D, edit, E, D, I, T, space, forward slash, set, space, and then hyper, H, Y, P, R, visor, V, I, S, O, R, L, A, U N C H T Y E. So you want to type in hypervisor launch type and then you do another space and then you want to type off. The operation completed successfully. Now you have successfully turned off VT uh, forward slash uh, X. So if this works then you can stop here but if this don't work the last thing you can try is um going going in your bios so sh shutting down your your pc and restarting going to your bios and looking for looking for it there so and after that you should be able to install it so you can uh, restart your Android Studio or whatever you want to do. Now, after you do that, and if you're still getting that, it, now if you're getting um, a, the VTX error, your 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 CPU does not support VT four slash X, then your PC may not support it. So what you want to do is you want to download this utility by Intel. It's called the Intel Processor Identification Utility. And you want to run that to see if your computer supports it. But remember, after you disable the VTX, you should be able to download the HAXM it should um, Android Studio should say um, it's ready to download it then but you still may get that error okay so once you got this open you wanna, you wanna go to CPU technologies oh actually you wanna hold on Okay, CPU technologies, and as you can see, 
for my PC Intel virtualization technology is a no my PC does not support this you know my my um, processor you know this is an older piece uh, laptop so the processor does not support the technology I don't know if the technology was out when my processor came out or not or hyper threading technology it doesn't support it so if the computer doesn't support it you won't be able to use that um, that when you're um, running your emulators through Android Studio but you still should be able to run um, you know at the regular speed I guess that's that's supposed to speed it up or you can use e Eclipse and just run the emulators I think Eclipse is faster in a lot of ways but so that's how you um, handle that problem make sure you subscribe urban programmer